Looking for an easy beginner project that you can complete in a weekend? Why not try this quick baby quilt and add it plus, choosing fabric as a snap as you only need two coordinating pieces. In this video you'll learn how to use strip piecing to quickly make 6 inch blocks and then you'll sew them together into this quilt top. To get started you'll want to download these free handouts at learnhowtoquilt.com under Quilt Classes. This pattern calls for 30 six and a half inch squares made from strips. Press your fabric and fold it from selvage to selvage and then fold it in half again. Cut five three and a half inch strips from each fabric. Take two strips, put right sides together, sew a quarter inch seam and then press to the dark. Line up your strip set with the horizontal lines on your mat. Your strip set should measure six and a half inches across. Trim off the selvages on the edge. Move over six and a half inches and cut. Continue in this manner till you have six blocks cut from each strip set. You can speed up this process by taking two strip sets and putting right sides together. Make sure to line up the seams in the middle and then cut. Lay out your blocks. You might find it helpful to shade in your pattern with the design you want. When all your blocks are in position, take a photo of your layout. You'll be sewing in rows. Put right sides together and pin, clip, or use some other method to mark the side that needs to be sewn. I like to hold that side in my hand while I stack the sets and then I place that side next to my sewing machine foot. When all the blocks have been sewn together in each row, press. The seams will naturally fall towards the block with no seam. Lay out the rows and then put right sides together. Line up the ends and pin. Pull back the intersection. Make sure that they're lined up. They should nestle together and pin. Continue matching intersections and pinning. Some of the seams won't need to be matched. But I like to put a pin here just to keep that seam in place. I don't see the seam on this side, but I know it's about halfway in the middle. And so I'll place a pin at that point. When all the rows have been sewn together and my quilt top's been pressed, I make my quilt sandwich by layering the back, the batting, and the top. I'll pin to get it ready for machine quilting. Here's my completed quilt. If you enjoyed this project, you might want to try this table runner. It goes together quickly and it's easy to quilt. You'll get lots of tips for straight line quilting small areas. Thank you for visiting LearnHowToQuilt.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos with your friends.